Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net mathematics solution. As you all know that today the CSR net has released the answer key and the question paper of this July 2024 mathematics. And I have received the question paper from my students. So now I will explain you first lecture on the complex analysis part B questions. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of CSR UGC net. I have already explained the memory based questions. But right now we have got the exact question paper. So let me explain you all these exact questions and their solution. Apart from that, you can also watch my previous lectures, which are fully shortcut tricks explanation. Now remember students, whenever you are in the examination hall, your target is to get your answer in the 10 to 15 second time periods. But the question always arises is how we can think about that. Remember student, once you are regularly watch my this playlist, this playlist not only will give you the right answers, but always increase your confidence levels so that you can get your answers and attempt the question in a very simple manner. What I taught you in my all these lectures is your target is always to discard the option. Students most of the time will try to find what is the exact answer. But remember student, once you are trying to adopt this technique, always discard the options then how you can solve that so let's see how you can solve this question in a very very easiest manner read the statement very carefully for the complex number a such that 0 is less than of mod of a is less than 1 can you think about any of the a which satisfy this property the easiest one is iota by fine now which of the following statement is my correct statement look at the first case Z, absolute value of the Z is less than 1. Can you think about any of the example? I can choose iota by 2, satisfied. Then I can found the values of A complex conjugate. What is the complex conjugate of the A is? Minus iota by 2. Can you find this value? It will be 1 minus A complex conjugate into Z. It's a minus minus plus minus 1 over 4. That will be 3 over 4. Is it? Less than of the Z minus A. What is the Z minus A? Z minus A is 0. So can you say 3 by 4 is less than 0? No. So this option is cancel. Fine. Now, in this case, there is no risk. Now you can see the third option is look like so very simple. Again, mod of Z is 1. I can choose the Z is iota. Is satisfied property. Then we can see Z minus A and 1 minus a bar of z. Is it, is it satisfied? You can see what is the z minus a? a is my iota by 2. z is my this. What is the, this is iota by 2. And the absolute value of the iota by 2 is half. Is it less than of the 1 minus a bar? What is the a? This into iota. So this is 1 minus half. Is it a strictly less than? No, they are equality. So this option is also cancel. Now, out of the second and the fourth, only one correct option is there. You can see that in the first option, they are talking about Z is less than 1, is a greater than 1. In the second and the third options, they are not talking about any values of the Z. Your target is to prove them. So I can choose the value of the Z is my say any number, 2 iota, because I already consider the less than 1 and equality 1. I can take any Z which is greater than of the iota. So then, what is the Z of this is my 2? Fine. What is the 1 minus a bar of z? Can you find this value? a complex conjugate minus iota by 2 and z is my uh, 2 iota. So that will be 1 minus 1. That will be 0. Is it less than of the z minus a? That satisfied this property. If it is not satisfied, then we will check about this option. z minus a 2 iota minus iota by 2. That is 3 by 2. Yes, 0 less than 3 by 2 satisfied. Does this Z satisfied Z less than 1? You can see this number is not less than 1. So this option is cancelled. Only correct option which is left behind is B is my right. Remember student, always I strongly recommended you, you must watch my these videos. This will increase your confidence level and the thought process. How you can attempt the question in a examination hall. Fine. So you can see this is a very simple question. Only you can simply take A is iota by 2 and you can discard the 
very simple options for you. I hope you can like, comment and share this video with your friends as well. Look at the second example. f is the entire function. You can choose any of the entire function. Say let f is z or sine of z or any of the things are there. Which of the following statement is my false? Again, your target is to identify three correct statements. They are looking about the constant, constant and constant. Which thing come in your mind? Which things come in your mind when we are talking about the constant function? The only thing is Picard's theorem. Fine. If you, what is the Picard's theorem is? If you have the u is my real components of the f, v is my imaginary components of the f. And if either u or v is my bounded, then f is constant. Or if their linear combination alpha u plus beta of v, where alpha and beta are my real numbers, is my bounded, then f is my constant function. Fine, this is my Picard theorem. So look at that. If I choose f is my u plus iota v, what is the first option suggested u? Real part of the f, that is a u. Imaginary part of the f is v. This is my bounded. These are my bounded. So that means if either u or v is bounded, then f is constant. So this option is my correct option, but we need a false statement. Second option is e raised to power u plus v is my bounded. So that's again the same option. That means by the Picard's theorem, f is my constant. So that's a correct statement. So again, this option is cancelled. Look at the third option. Sum of the real plus imaginary is bounded and the product u and v are bounded. Clearly say from this case, alpha and beta, I can take any real numbers. For this case, it is my one. So yes, this is also my bounded. So it's a constant. So this option is also cancelled. Only left option is my D, which is my right answer of this problem. How? It's a very simple. If I choose simply F is my Z, what is my U? X. V is my Y. And you can see sign of real part and imaginary part, which is always a bounded function. But F is my not constant. Fine. So that means that D is my right answer of this problem. How you can think this question in the examination? If you already watch my this lecture, PY question on the identity theorem, then you can get your answer in a very, very less second than of the other student. You can see it's a fully shortcut tricks. Once you are watched, if you if you didn't watch them, you can write watch now right now so that you can get the answer simple. Man. Okay, look at this another question. Let A and B are the two real numbers such that this is where which are the following statement is necessary to. Remember students, I have already explained this question in my memory based question, but in that case, in, in this memory based question, but in that case, the word necessary is not given to you. And moreover, the options are not exactly same of this. A and B are the two real numbers. Can you take any of the number which are satisfied this property? I can choose A is equal to minus one, B is equal to one, clearly satisfied, fine. Then we can choose about this. Then in that case, what will be your i? It is z square plus 1 over z plus 1, z minus 1. Fine. 1 over 2 pi iota. Now, over the gamma. So, what is the r? Maximum of 1 and 1. So, r must be greater than of 1. I can choose r is 2. That means a circle whose radius is my 2. I can take on this. What is the pole of this? Pole is my minus 1 which lies in this inside this pole is my plus one which lies inside this then I can use the Cauchy theorem so what is the one over two pi cancel corresponding to the minus one it is minus one square plus one over minus one minus one corresponding to the plus one it is one plus one so that will be two over minus two two over minus two that's a zero but he said non-zero that's a cancel look at the second case r must be less than of the 1. So I can choose r is my half. Fine. So if r is my half, again the same example, same diagram, this value will be half. This value will be half. Minus 1 lies outside the circle. Plus 1 lies outside the circle. So that means this is my entire function. 
once this is the entire function over this circle then the integration will be zero but he said no fine now out of this third and fourth again you can see mod of a is equal to b that satisfied and i got the answer as a zero but is it necessary always we can check about this option if i choose a is equal to minus 1 r is lies in between them i can choose r is equal to half fine and b no i can't take b as a one because it's a strictly and in this case i can choose b is equal to 2 fine then what will happen of the options then in that case what is my integration part this is z square plus 1 over z plus 1 z minus 2 now i can draw the again circle radius is my r is lies between half and this so it is my half this is my minus 1 so you can see uh, yes again it's a zero but is it necessary i can change this value it is a 3 it is my 2 fine it is 3 radius is my 3 r is my 2 fine and in this case 3 is lies outside but minus 1 lies inside the the pole minus 1 lies inside the circle so what is the right answer of this minus 1 square minus 1 minus 3 which is my non zero but he said zero that's option is cancel only option which is left behind is c is my right answer of this problem you can see a very simple approach don't forget to like comment and to subscribe my youtube channel okay look at this another one consider the contour gamma the value of this integration as we know this is the complex analysis so we can firstly find the pole what is the pole pole is my 0 and 2 fine now our target is to find the unit circle whether it's a unit circle whether what's the radius of this but it's the value of the z circle is not given to you i can found corresponding to this case when theta is equal to 0 what is the value of this when theta is equal to 0 e raised power 0 1 and when pi by 2 it will be e raised to power iota pi that is a minus 1 so that means this value is lies between minus 1 to plus 1 look at the second case 1 plus 2 e raised to power twice of this when theta is my pi over 2 this value is e raised to power e raised to power pi iota that's a minus 1 1 minus 2 that is my minus 1 corresponding to this when angle is 3 pi by 2 e raised to power 3 pi by 2 is again a minus 1 1 minus 2 again minus 1 that means this case is my constant z is equal to minus 1 only on the boundary of the circle look at this case e raised to power 2 iota theta when it is 3 pi by 2 it is a 3 pi cos 3 pi is minus 1 and when it is a 2 pi is a cos e raised to power 4 pi is a plus 1 that means this number is less than equal to 1 and minus 1 fine now that's over that means we have talked taken about the unit circle that means this g2 uh, lies outside the circle so that means this is not a pole so that means only z is equal to 0 so what is the right answer of this 2 pi iota and the corresponding to z is 0 it's a 1 minus 1 over 0 minus 2 minus pi iota is the right answer of this you can see that i didn't use any of the much copy and pen you can do all this calculation i have written all this calculation because i try to explain you but you can write all this calculation in your mind you can get, get easily as a unit circle and once in this circle 2 is not a pole so the right answer is only minus pi iota is the right answer of this problem you can see that very very simple approach i have explained you in this lecture don't forget to watch my this playlist i am very 100% is confident that once you are watching this lecture completely your confidence level will be at the extreme let me know in the comment box if you have watched my lectures and your confidence level is increase don't forget to like share and comments on my videos i will upload my next lecture on this and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for the support and thanks for the watching happy learning always students bye bye